what does that mean, holding the line on education spending to 1% a year? Well, essentially the education budget, similar to the health budget, is almost all salaries. It's about 85% salaries. So if you want to change the expenditure curve, then you either have to have fewer people or you have to pay them less or you have to get more productivity by changing the way you use the resources you have. Those are your options. Uh, I'll echo a couple of things that Ben said. I think that there are opportunities in healthcare as there are in education. We've, you know, we've seen these cycles before and the cycles do present us with an opportunity to take a new look at some of the fundamental areas. We've made big investments over the last decade and there are areas that we can take some costs out now and take spending down. Give me an example. MD compensation. We, we've had physicians um, that have seen incomes go up dramatically over the last decade because of investments that we've made in technology, uh, diagnostic imaging, cataract surgery, endoscopy. Uh, I could list another half a dozen areas where the technology has caused us to be able to do much greater volumes than we have been in the past, but we haven't had the courage yet to take the fee levels down and to rationalize the fee levels.